Did you realize that anxiety is costing you more than you might imagine? It's not just the sleepless nights or that unsettling sensation in your stomach. It includes precious moments lost forever. The quiet family gatherings where your mind wandered elsewhere. The enriching conversations that slipped away because your thoughts were racing and the opportunities you hesitated to embrace due to fear. What if I told you that our understanding of anxiety might be fundamentally flawed? For over 2,000 years, a select group of ancient philosophers has provided insights that could lead us to a different perspective. Today, we'll explore the wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that not only acknowledges our fears, but also equips us with the tools to confront, reframe, and ultimately transcend them. The Stoics lived through plagues, wars, and political turmoil, so they were no strangers to anxiety. Yet, they developed practical strategies to turn these fears into powerful motivators for living a fulfilling life. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by your worries, you're not alone. The Stoics stood with you, discovering ways to transform anxiety from a thief into a teacher. Stick around because what we'll cover isn't your typical advice of merely thinking positively or relaxing. We'll delve into some of the most effective Stoic strategies for overcoming anxiety, techniques tested over centuries. Whether you're a staunch believer in Stoicism or a skeptic, this video will challenge your perceptions, push you beyond your comfort zone and provide actionable steps for reclaiming your present moment. If you find value in our discussion today, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and sharing it with others seeking personal growth and philosophical insight. Your support enables us to continue sharing these ideas and reaching a broader audience. Stay with us until the end, especially if you have doubts some of what we'll discuss may seem counterintuitive, but with an open mind, you'll leave with a toolkit for managing anxiety rooted in timeless wisdom. So, let's get started. Anxiety isn't a new phenomenon. It has been part of human existence since time immemorial. Think about it. Our ancestors grappled with fears related to survival, conflict and uncertainty just as we do today. From the earliest communities gathered around fires to today's bustling cities filled with technology, anxiety has always been a consistent companion throughout history. Now let's draw from Stoic wisdom. Ancient Greek and Roman philosophers recognized the enduring nature of human worries. They may not have had smartphones or social media, but they faced their share of plagues political upheaval, and personal challenges. Take Marcus Aurelius, one of the most renowned Stoic thinkers. He ruled the Roman Empire during a devastating plague and documented his thoughts and struggles in what we now know as meditations. His writings reveal that while the specifics of our anxieties may vary, the core feelings of fear, uncertainty, and worry remain unchanged. This perspective is incredibly liberating. It means we can lean on centuries of wisdom to tackle our anxieties today. We are not alone. We are the latest in a long lineage of humans navigating the complexities of existence. It's not only about grasping anxiety through a historical or philosophical lens, but also utilizing that knowledge to bolster our mental resilience. The Stoics provide us with tools to do just that, reminding us that anxiety is not a uniquely modern affliction, but a shared human experience that can be approached with wisdom passed down through generations. So, the next time you experience that familiar flutter of anxiety, remember that countless individuals have stood where you are today, and many have discovered ways to ease that sensation. Historical Context of Anxiety To fully understand anxiety, it's helpful to look back through history, 
unlocking a treasure trove of wisdom regarding life's challenges. When facing anxiety, who better to turn to than some of history's greatest minds who successfully navigated turbulent times? Let's consider some Stoic philosophers and their methods for dealing with personal struggles. For instance, Marcus Aurelius was the Roman Emperor, arguably the most powerful individual of his time. Yet he was not immune to the mental burdens that accompany such responsibility and uncertainty. He contended with military invasions, political conspiracies, and the devastating Antonine Plague. Despite these trials, he found solace and strength in Stoic philosophy, diligently recording his thoughts, which later became meditations. His writings frequently emphasize the importance of accepting what we cannot control and concentrating on our actions, advice that remains highly relevant for managing anxiety today. Another prominent Stoic, Seneca, faced immense political pressures and personal risks daily under the erratic leadership of Emperor Nero. His letters and essays are rich with practical wisdom on coping with fear and anxiety. He emphasized the significance of rational thought and often advocated preparing mentally for the worst, not to dwell on it, but to lessen the shock if it should occur. His insights encourage us to be less taken aback by misfortune when it strikes since foreseeing potential difficulties can mitigate their impact. By studying these historical figures, we connect with their experiences and recognize that Stoicism is not just theoretical, it is a practical toolkit. These narratives remind us that anxiety and adversity are not contemporary phenomena but universal human responses to life's consistent challenges throughout the ages. Understanding this helps us feel less isolated in our struggles. We are traversing a well-worn path with much to learn from those who came before us. Integrating Stoic principles such as focusing on what lies within our control and accepting what does not can profoundly transform how we perceive and respond to anxiety. It teaches us resilience, guiding us to stand firm against life's uncertainties, just as Marcus Aurelius and Seneca did. So, when you feel overwhelmed, remember these figures who not only survived their tumultuous eras, but developed a philosophy that enabled them to thrive mentally. Their lives reassure us that we too can find stability amidst chaos by relying on their wisdom to steer our modern minds. Personal Reflections on Anxiety Being open about our own experiences with anxiety is not merely about sharing. It normalizes the fact that it is a typical human reaction to life's complexities. I'll admit that despite my engagement with Stoicism, I still experience my fair share of anxious moments. It's one thing to discuss stoic concepts like detachment and rationality, and quite another to apply them in real time during stressful situations. Acknowledging this isn't a failure, it's a recognition of reality. Stoicism teaches us to embrace our emotions, not to suppress them, but to understand and manage them effectively. In my journey, I've found it immensely beneficial to view these principles as tools rather than rigid rules. For example, the stoic practice of examining our impressions, pausing to reflect on whether our initial reactions are accurate, has been transformative for me. It doesn't eliminate anxiety, but it enables me to navigate it more rationally. Sharing these experiences aims to foster a community where discussing struggles becomes the norm. It's easy to idolize figures like Seneca or Marcus Aurelius, forgetting they were also people who wrestled with their own challenges, doubts and emotions. They weren't Stoics in the sense of being emotionless. Rather, they were individuals who used philosophy to confront their inner conflicts. They documented their fears, hopes and strategies, not because they had triumphed over their emotions, 
but because they actively engaged with them. When I talk about my anxiety, it's not just to share a personal tale, but to illustrate how stoic principles manifest in everyday life. Whether dealing with unforeseen events, facing personal setbacks, or managing daily stresses. These ancient tools have provided me with a framework for understanding and managing my emotions more effectively. By admitting this, I hope to inspire you to explore these tools and discover whether they can provide you with the same clarity and support they've given me. It's about progress, not perfection, as we apply these time-honored strategies to our contemporary lives. Practical Stoic Strategies for Managing Anxiety Now that we've established the philosophical framework, let's dive into practical Stoic strategies that you can implement in your life. These methods aren't just abstract ideas, they are actionable steps that can transform your experience of anxiety. One of the most effective strategies is daily reflection, often achieved through journaling. This practice encourages you to take a step back and reflect on your thoughts and feelings. It's not about chronicling events, it's about examining your reactions to those events. Writing down what occurred during the day and how you responded provides incredible insights into your emotional and thought patterns. Marcus Aurelius himself practiced this method as evidenced in meditations filled with personal insights and philosophical reflections. Daily reflection helps you identify triggers and overreactions, allowing you to recalibrate your responses to align more closely with stoic virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. You can create a structure for this reflection by asking yourself specific questions. What made me anxious today? How did I respond? What could I have done differently? By systematically analyzing your day, you begin to understand your anxiety patterns and develop strategies to mitigate them. Another potent stoic tool is the dichotomy of control, beautifully encapsulated by Epictetus. He stated that some things are within our power while others are not. By clearly defining what we can control and surrendering what we cannot, we can significantly reduce anxiety. For instance, we can control our efforts and attitudes, but not the outcomes of those efforts. When we concentrate on our input and accept whatever results come our way, we practice stoic acceptance, diminishing unnecessary anxiety about factors outside our control. Imagine you're anxious about an upcoming work presentation. A stoic approach would involve examining why this event triggers anxiety. Is it a fear of public speaking? Or is there a deeper worry about not measuring up? By dissecting these perceptions, you can start to challenge them. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the world of stoicism and anxiety. I hope these timeless strategies empower you to face your fears with renewed strength and clarity. Remember, anxiety is not a battle you have to fight alone, it's a shared human experience. And the Stoics have shown us that we can transform our worries into opportunities for growth. If you found value in today's discussion, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more insights and share this video with anyone who could benefit from these teachings. Let's continue to build a community where we support each other in embracing life's challenges with wisdom and resilience. Until next time, keep reflecting, keep growing, and remember, you have the power to shape your mind and, ultimately, your life.